What's up guys? Retro Gamer Steve back with another video and tonight's video is another pickups video for this month. Um, I got some uh, really good deals and some stuff I'm excited to show you guys. Uh, Walmart pickups, eBay pickups, and of course I fell into the GameStop trap again this week. So uh, join me guys and we'll check out what goodies I picked up this week to add to my collection. All right guys, well first we will start off with some of the uh games that I picked up from from GameStop and of course they're still running the buy four games for $14.99 or less get them for $30 so basically if you can find four $15 games that you like and don't already own you can get them for half off so each of these games cost me $7.50 uh, the first one I picked up is Sniper Elite 3 the Ultimate Edition obviously for the PS3. Um, I only have, I think, one or two other sniper games. I've been trying to pick up a few more of these. I really have a fun time playing these games. They are a lot of fun. So not a bad pickup for $7.50, and it's complete. I also picked up Soul Calibur V for the PS3. Again, um, trying to beef up some of these collections that I haven't been paying that much attention to lately. Um, this one again is complete and I think another sweet $7.50 pickup. I love the Soul Calibur series. Uh, another one I grabbed for the PS3 as well is Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Uh, my girlfriend is a huge Mortal Kombat fan, so I thought she would enjoy playing this one with me. Um, we are trying to slowly amass all of the different Mortal Kombat games because we really do enjoy kicking each other's butts. So, another great cheap pickup. And then the last PlayStation 3 game I picked up was Resident Evil 5, the Gold Edition, again for the PS3. And um, <clears throat> I am trying to pick up more Resident Evil games. Um, don't have to have all of them, but or all of, the, you know, each version from each console. But I do enjoy at least having one version of each so that I can play any of them. All right, so those were my PS3 pickups there. Then I got some Xbox One pickups, and these again were $7.50. Uh, Resident Evil Biohazard, the gold edition. Another game I did not own but I was happy to pick it up for half price. Another one for $7.50 on the Xbox One is Roman and Rumble Las Vegas, or Roman Rumble in Las Vegum, sorry, Asterix and Obelix XXL2. I have not played this, um, but it looked cute. I almost picked it up for the Switch a while back. Don't know if this one came with a piece of paper or not. Um, this one was a Walmart pickup, and that is a sealed copy of Batter Battleborn. I've never checked this out before, never played it, so I don't know if it's any good. But I was able to pick this up for $3 sealed from Walmart. Destiny 2 for the Xbox One. This is a sealed copy also from Walmart. And I picked this up for a dollar. So definitely had to snatch that up for a buck. And then I also picked up Scream Ride. Uh, this was five or seven dollars. Um, 
can't remember what I paid for this one, but this one actually looks interesting and fun. So I figured why not? Now this doesn't have cellophane, but this part is still sealed. So because there's no cellophane, I'll probably open this one up and my girlfriend and I will have some fun with this because it does look interesting. And uh, I kind of kind of want to check this out, so. Okay, and then I got a couple more things from Walmart here. The first one is for the PS4, even though I do not own a PS4 at the moment, I do plan on picking one up at some point. So I got a sealed copy of Indivisible, and I picked this up from Walmart for $5. So again, anytime I can pick up some cheap games sealed, I'm definitely going to do that. Uh, the next PS4 game I picked up was 11 bucks, and that is the Hitman Steelbook Edition. And this one again is sealed. So I was really excited to grab this. Um, Anytime I can grab a steelbook edition of anything for 11 bucks or cheaper, I'm going to jump on it. And uh, yeah, 11 bucks for the steelbook. Hitman. Awesome pickup there. Then another Walmart pickup. This one was also a dollar. And that is Guitar Hero 2 and Guitar Hero Aerosmith Dual Pack. This one is sealed as well. And for a dollar, I figured why the hell not. I think this game's going for like 20 to 30 bucks sealed. So uh, yeah, I had to grab it for a dollar. This was an eBay pickup, um, but a game that I've been wanting to get for a while. Uh, just kept losing my track every time I would go to uh, order some games from eBay. But that is Panzer Dragoon Orta. I do have Panzer Dragoon and Panzer Dragoon Zwei. Um, I would love to get um, Saga, but that game is like $1,000 or more. So I don't know that I'll ever be able to own that one. But I was super, super happy to finally pick this one up. I have never played this one. It is complete. But I am a huge Panzer Dragoon fan, and uh, I was really happy to finally add this one to the collection. I did pick up one GameCube game, and that was a complete copy of Resident Evil 4. This is a game I sent my buddy Kamikaze Ikun. Go check his channel out um, a while back but I did not have it in my own collection. So I finally picked it up and now I have, I think three or four Resident, uh, three Resident Evil games for the GameCube. And uh, that makes me pretty happy. I've been playing Resident Evil Revelations on the Wii U and I'm having a great time with that game. A couple more um, Walmart pickups. Uh, these two are for the Switch. And the first one is NBA 2K19. This is a brand new copy. And this was a dollar at Walmart. So I do have 19 or 18. Now I have 19. And I got both of these for less than 10 bucks combined. So uh, I'll take that all day, every day. And then the other one is a game that I already owned, but um, I did not have a sealed copy because I opened mine, and that is Yokos Island Express, and I got this one brand new for $7. Um, this, this game has pinball mechanics, so when I bought it last time, my girlfriend wanted to open it, and of course I allowed her to open the game. Um, but for 7 bucks, I figured I would put a sealed copy of this back into my collection, and this is an interesting game. We, it's, uh, it's a pretty cool game. So, And I had to show the PlayStation Vita some love. And I was able to pick up one game for that this week. And that is a sealed copy of Natural Doctrine. 
This is a game I've had on my list for a while, but I would uh, forget about it every time I would go look at my watch list or whatever. A very interesting game. Um, I have not played it. I have checked out some gameplay footage. This is also on the PS4, but I wanted to get it for the Vita because I love the Vita. Next to my Neo Geo Pocket Color, the PlayStation Vita is my favorite handheld. And um, yeah, I absolutely love being able to add games to my Vita library. Then I did pick up one game for my Sega Game Gear, and that is a complete Aladdin. Um, I do have Jungle Book and, uh, um, what am I thinking, a Lion King. So now I have Aladdin um, for the Game Gear. And I haven't been grabbing a lot of Game Gear games lately, so I got this for a really good deal. I absolutely love the Sega Genesis version of this game. So I figured why not add it to my Game Gear library as well. Again, this has been opened, but this box is in really nice shape. And I love that cover art. It's just so iconic and pretty. All right, then I was also able to pick up some Nintendo 3DS games. This first one was a Walmart pickup. Again, I got it for half off and that was uh, $7.50. And that is Sushi Striker, The Way of the Sushido. This is an open copy, <clears throat> but this is one of the last games released for the 3DS. Um, not something that I was in a huge rush to pick up although I'm sure it's it's a fun game, but I did want to grab it at some point because it's one of the last games released for the system, and um, for $7.50, it was worth finally picking up, so got a nice copy of that. This was a Walmart pickup, and that is Ever Oasis. This is a brand new sealed copy that I picked up for $11. I have no idea if this game is any good, guys. So if you've played this game before, leave me a note in the comments telling me if you enjoyed it or not. But um, a sealed 3DS game for 11 bucks, Yes, please. So I picked that up to add to my growing 3DS collection. Then if you guys have seen some of my previous videos, you know that I am a Pokemon fan and I am actively trying to collect at least all of the main Pokemon games. Um, so there's quite a few that I was still missing and I'm still missing, uh, I think about six or seven of the main of the main games. But I picked up a few this week. Uh, the first one is Pokemon Sun. These are all complete. Um, and they are all open, so none of these are sealed. However, I needed all of these. So Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Omega Ruby, Pokemon X, and Pokemon Y. So I was really glad to uh, grab the four of these Pokemon games. Now I just need um, white and black, white two, black two, um, and a couple others, and I will have all of the main uh, Pokemon games. So that's really, um, really cool to, to pick these games all up.
All right, guys. Well, you know that I am actively trying to collect a complete North American Wii U set. So I made some more headway on that this week. I was hoping a few more was, were going to come in before the video. Um, but that just means I'll have more Wii U love to show you guys next Friday because I think I still have four or five that did not come in on time. Um, some of these were Walmart or uh, sorry, GameStop pickups for again seven fifty a piece, or I ordered them online. The first one is Rodea or Rodia the Sky Soldier. I have never played this game. I'm pretty sure this came out on the Switch as well, and from what I remember hearing, it did not run that well on the Switch. This is a complete copy. It has the Wii version and the Wii U version, and it has the Wii manual and the Wii U manual, and it even has the original um, receipt from when the first person bought it, so that's kind of cool. I always leave those in there when I find them. Uh, so that is Rodea. The next one is Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2013. Don't know if this one, oh, yep. It is complete. Some of these come with manuals, some of them don't. Some of them come with a white slip of paper. It's a crapshoot and you never know if it's complete or not unless you actually have the paperwork and then, you know. The next one is Avengers Battle for Earth. And this one is complete. Then we have the only basketball game released for the Wii U, and that is NBA 2K13. Don't know if this one had anything in it or not, but still happy to add that. Uh, this one I picked up, um, well, one, because I need it for the collection, but two, because my girlfriend would enjoy this type, this type of game, and so do I from time to time. That is Tumblestone, and this is a puzzle game, a three-matching style puzzle game. This is one, uh, this one is complete, but this is one that um, I don't see pop up very often, so I don't know if this is... Uh, uncommon or if i just never run into any copies in the wild but um had to pick that one up uh this one was a um, gamestop pickup for 99 cents and that is lego dimensions i have passed on this a million times but i finally decided to grab it and it is also complete This was a GameStop pickup, so this one was $7.50, and that is Kung Fu Panda Showdown of Legendary Legends. And it is complete. Oh, no, I don't know. I think this one might have come with a manual. I'm not really sure. But, um, yeah, I got this for... Um, actually, this one might have only been 6 or $7 from GameStop. And I'm glad I waited because I've almost pulled the trigger on eBay for this game. But it's going for at least $15 every time I see it. So I got it for a much, much better price. Another GameStop pickup for $750 is Call of Duty Ghosts. My buddy Iowa Retro Gamer Dad was talking about this game on one of his latest videos. Go check him out. I have never played this one, so pretty excited to uh, check this one out at some point. Uh, this was another 750 pickup. 
and that is The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Unfortunately, the artwork for this one does have some damage, um, but I got it for a good price, so I can always upgrade later on down the road, but at least now I have The Amazing Spider-Man and The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Pretty happy about that. And the last pickup, guys, was an eBay pickup, and that is the new Super Mario Bros. U and new Super Luigi U. So, again, really excited to get this one. Don't know if it had... I'm sure it had a piece of paper of some sort, but... Um, yeah, that's eight... One, two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine more Wii U titles for my library, plus I think four or five more that didn't make it in time for this video. So I am trying to uh, pump up this Wii U collection um, as quickly as I can because I'm getting a lot of these for a really good deal. Now oh, that's 10 right there. I can't count through a camera, apparently. So those are the pickups for the week, guys. Guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the pickups video for this week. If you did and you're not yet a subscriber, think about hitting that subscribe button, guys, and give me a big thumbs up. That really helps small channels like mine grow and gain traction. And if you did enjoy this content, um, you should definitely come back Monday for my weekly handheld game of the week video. Um, next Wednesday will be another home held gaming video. And of course, uh, next Friday will either be another pickups video or a collection video of some sort. Um, but if you guys do enjoy content like this, uh, do me a favor. I'm going to give one special shout out this week, um, and that is to my buddy 8BitGlitz79. Um, please go check his channel out, guys. He was actually nominated for YouTuber of the Month, so please go uh, check his channel out. Go vote for him to win YouTuber of the Month and show him some love. And let him know that uh, you guys came from my channel. And... Guys, I just want to thank you again for checking my channel out and watching. It uh, really means a lot to me that you guys um, support me and show me all the love that you do. So thank you guys very much. Um, until then, have a great weekend, guys. Stay safe and keep gaming.